Let's break down three tools in Silhouette Studio that confuse a lot of crafters. We're talking about group, weld, and compound path. Start with group. This tool links your design elements so they move and scale together, but they stay separate underneath. It's perfect for positioning things before finalizing your design. Next is weld. This merges overlapping edges into one shape. If you're working with script fonts or layered cut pieces, Weld keeps everything connected and clean. But here's where many projects go sideways. Welding images. Studio does not handle that well. One image might flip upside down, another might get partially erased. The cut lines stay intact, but the visuals are a mess. Instead, if you're working with JPEGs, you will have to trace the image to get your cut lines. However, if you're working with PNGs, you're going to make sure that Auto Trace PNGs is enabled in your preferences. That's the little gear icon on the bottom right hand side. Bring your images into Studio and arrange them exactly how you want them to sit. Group, then duplicate the entire setup. Pull one group aside and leave it untouched. With a duplicate, change the images to solid fill color and weld that group. In the send panel, set the real images to no cut and only cut the welded outlines. Then you can place your images inside those welded shapes and you can use smart snapping or zoom in for perfect alignment. It's a bit involved, but once you do it the first time, it'll change how you approach layered projects entirely. And finally, there's compound path. This one is for managing holes inside of shapes. Think donut. You want to center the cutout. Compound path connects those elements into one cuttable shape that sees through itself. Still not sure which tool to grab mid-project? Leave a comment below with your design challenge and I'll point you in the right direction. So remember, group to organize, weld to merge overlapping shapes, compound path to control internal cutouts, and never weld imported images unless you want Studio to throw a temper tantrum. Go ahead and like and subscribe for more straight to the point tutorials and check out the quick tips playlist for your next project win.